Morning everybody, we're still in Toronto here. We got one more day of truck world. I've got to get all my stuff packed up because after truck world today, I fly out, I go back home. So I just woke up as you can tell. I'm gonna get some coffee in me and I'm gonna start cleaning this room up. And I'll take all my stuff with me to Truck World, to our booth there. And uh, when it's all finished, I'll head to the airport. This trucker's gotta make another flight. So a lot of you made the journey to Truck World to come check out the show, check out all the exhibitors, see what it was all about, and come say hi at Booth 20 to me and the team there. I really appreciate that. Some of you came pretty far. You drove a few hours and Martin even flew over the ocean. He came and visited us from Germany. <laughs> he had other plans to be here in Canada, but he rearranged his itinerary so he could be with us at Truck World as well. And it really meant a lot to me. It was great to put a face to the names uh, that I see online every day. I see your guys' comments, I see your views. You guys know me very well. I've been making videos going on 11 years, but I've been making videos about 10 years, and a lot of you have been following the whole time, or most of that time, and so you get to know me pretty well. You get to see me grow up, grow old. You get <laughs> When you first started watching, I may not even have had a beard, and now look at that, I've got a couple of gray hairs coming in already. But I was really touched and really moved by uh, the amount of people and uh, all of the great things you guys said. It was really encouraging and uh, really uplifting to me to be able to meet you and uh, thank you for making it such a good experience for me. It was very fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to this last day. I'm kind of sad that I got to leave, but at the same time, I'm kind of excited to go home, sleep in my own bed. <laughs> but uh, I'm a trucker, you know? I'll sleep wherever wherever the truck's parked. And the truck may not be parked here right now. We couldn't bring the truck out, but we want to do more of these events in the future. I don't know for sure right now what the plan is for the next one. There's one in July that I'm really hoping to come down here for uh, to Southern Ontario um, called the Truck Show and Shine near Orangeville. Uh, we'll talk more about that in the future, but that's one example of uh, something that I would uh, like to see happen in the future. Gonna have to get some coffee in me first though. As you can tell, I still have my morning face on. This is my morning. Josh hasn't had his coffee yet face. Watch out. I'm actually in a good mood though, so you don't have to watch out too much, but still. I haven't had my coffee yet. I should have like a little warning beacon. Like, hasn't had his coffee yet. Don't talk to him. Okay, don't get in his way. All right, just if you, if you wanna say hi, say hi and direct him to the nearest Tim's. You know, something like that. Starbucks will do too, whatever. I don't really care at this point, it's just coffee. It'll be good, I'm gonna go downstairs and get some, but I gotta finish cleaning up here first. <laughs> here we go on our way to day three, last day of Truck World. We got Tammy in the driver's seat here. Good morning. Director of Motorsports. We do a lot of motorsports hauling, we got a video coming on that soon. Something for you to look forward to. In the back there we got Cam in business development. Hey guys. These are all my co-workers at Keystone. They're in the office, so I don't see them as often, but it's been nice spending time with them here in uh, Toronto, getting to know a different side of the business. We love Trucker Josh. <laughs>
Everything's starting to wind down right now. It's getting a little bit quieter. I figured I'd do a little walk around. Show you guys a little bit. Now that there's less people here. It's so hard to show you guys what was actually going on before because of all the people. Like this place was packed. So we're winding down. We got about another hour till it closes. Then we got to do our cleanup. And I've got to run to the airport and run back to Winnipeg. I'm sleeping in my own bed tonight yet. I'm gonna get home probably around 1 a.m. My flight leaves Toronto here at 9. So I'll be landing in Winnipeg. Central time, about 11.30. I think my flight leaves at 9.10. Yeah, I'll be home a little after midnight tonight. Look at these things. Interesting, eh? Been walking the floor showing you guys what's all going on and we ran into some subscribers hey, here hey. Hi. how are you guys doing we're good we're and enjoying the show enjoying the show we got a future truck driver right there hey, yeah Angelista. and you're gonna drive a truck too you on bay ballerina that's cool too that's cool too yeah, I like that. I like it. And uh, I guess the future dispatcher, eh? Future dispatcher? She loves to give orders. So okay. That's what You're she is. Gonna be very good. <laughs> Finally, nice to meet you. That's awesome. Nice to meet you guys. All good things must come to an end. Just cleaning up our booth here. Very soon now. This whole place is gonna turn into a big construction zone. So we're told that we can't hang around too much longer. We need to get out of the way of all the equipment. Cam just went and brought some of our stuff to the front there. We're gonna load it into the car. I've gotta figure out a way of getting this back to Manitoba because I can't take that on the plane. So this is probably gonna to go to our Waterloo terminal, I think. And then uh, one of our drivers will bring it to our headquarters in Manitoba. And then I'll take it to my shop from there. And that's going up on the wall in my shop. That's awesome. That was actually a gift from Truck World to me. Super cool. So whoever does take it to Manitoba, I hope that they handle it nicely and hopefully it doesn't get scratched. But we had a really busy show. It was uh, 
a little bit intense. You can probably tell I'm pretty exhausted. From here, what's the time now? It's just about five o'clock, I think. It's 20 minutes to five, and we're told pretty much five o'clock, we gotta be out of here. So uh, we're probably gonna go grab something for, to eat, grab some supper, and then I gotta be at the airport for about seven o'clock, two hours before my flight. And next to our booth this whole time, we had this awesome guy. And he's got some amazing products. His name's Eli. But that's sales manager for UTech GPS tab. The biggest thing we do, all of your telematics, the biggest thing about us is we're for truck drivers, by truck drivers, no contracts. We earn your business every month. We'll help you every step of the way through the ELD mandate, teach you how to make some of the equipment work for you. Yeah, he's got some really great equipment, really great products. I'll be talking about it more in my future vlogs, but now there's a face to the name. Nice to meet you. Yeah, and when you talk about it, you know who I'm talking to. I'm going to direct you towards their site in the future. I'm actually pretty excited to uh, work with them and to bring their products to you guys because they're really going to help out the small guy and the owner operators that don't have the benefit of having a big company setting up all their ELDs and equipment for them. Absolutely, that's where we all came from. All of us were in bigger industry, but our backgrounds, our families, but most of us were raised in truck driving. Mm -hmm. So we got sick of the corporate feel and we want to be the guys that take care of the little ones. Yeah, and what's the company again? Yeah, Utech GPS Tab. Utech GPS Tab. Yep, GPS Tab's our platform, Utech's a corporation. Awesome, and they've been in the booth right next to us this whole, yep, time. whole time. So I will be talking about them in the future. So now you got something to uh, look forward to. Awesome. Okay, we got all our stuff loaded up here. Cam's got everything tetris in pretty well. You bet. You bet. We two got more that. Pieces. One and two. Perfect. Ready to rock. Got the sign right there. It's going to make its way to Winnipeg. See you later, Truck World. It was fun. Hopefully, we'll do it again. This is our. Uh... Everybody, tell me, what do you think this color is? We we'll say it's gold. Gold for two golden boys. The Winnipeg Golden Boys. Oh boy, look at this seat. Can you tell how I'm sitting in here? I feel so big. <laughs> the little Kia go kart is something else. <laughs> They're actually pretty nice, pretty spacious. Like I got room for my feet and everything, not bad. Room for everything back here. Cam's just moving into a different hotel here. He's got to stay in Ontario, get a little bit more work done, get a few more things done while he's out here. Sort of kill two birds with one stone. I'm flying back tonight because I got to be back on the road in Manitoba on Monday. So it's time for me to go home. So he's checking into the new hotel right now, which is closer and more in the area of where he's going to be working. And he's coming back down here right away. He's going to give me a ride to the airport and it's time to get this trucker back on a plane. It's weird not driving places, but kind of nice it'd be a 20 hour drive minimum 20 24 hour drive to get home from here two hour flight can you imagine the difference eh it's crazy see i'm just waiting for him to come down here and he'll uh give me a quick ride over there and get through security and uh nine i think it's 9 10 p.m departure be a night flight i'll probably sleep because i'm I'm exhausted. I just had some McDonald's uh, supper of champions, you know. Quite the weekend. Quite the weekend. I really feel like it was a great success. And it was so cool meeting you guys that came out. So cool. Oh, we got to do this more often, don't we? We do. So there's a few more. I've been talking, you know, just talking to you already. There's a few more events coming up. As they come closer and if they get the green light, I'll let you guys know well in advance. Don't worry. And I'll let you know where they're at. Hopefully we can do more of these kind of things across Canada and across the US as well. I was even talking to Martin yesterday from Germany. I would love to do a meetup or at a truck meet or go to a truck show in Europe one day. I think that would be super cool. How many of you would be into that? Would you guys come out and hang out with me if I came out to Europe? I think it'd be cool to go to a European truck show. Just got dropped off at the airport. Gotta figure out how to get in here now. This sign here says do not enter. Okay, I'll have to walk down here then. What are all these things? Oh, luggage carriers. Ha! Ah, I carry my own luggage. I'm a man. Be a man.
going just like that. We're back in Winnipeg. And it's been raining all day, just like they said. Wonderful. And it's cold. I have to pay for our parking first. So it's Saturday night. I parked here on Thursday night, right? Thursday, Friday. Wednesday night, Thursday, first. Three days. Let's see how much it costs to park here for three days. $88 for three days and 17 hours. So Thursday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So over three and a half days. $88 for economy. I thought I parked in the economy lot. I wonder what it costs to park in the fancy people lot. Oh well, it is what it is. I think the crosswalk's over there, but I'm being a rebel and I'm crossing over here. This is late, I'm tired. I've been on my feet for three days and it's cold and there's snow. I was pretty sure I told them to get rid of all of that before I came back. No one ever listens to me. Oh, it's cold. Get used to that nice Toronto weather pretty quick, eh? Ah, oh well. There is one good thing about Winnipeg. Even though it's so cold and miserable, there is still one good thing. It's not Toronto. <laughs> so my car, or my pickup, is in the lot here somewhere. Pretty sure I remember where I parked it. Ah. Uh, I guess we'll end things here. Made it home. I want to say thanks again to all of you who showed up. Toronto is actually a really great city. It's it's beautiful there. And you people are awesome. Thank you for coming to say hi and making my day. Absolutely awesome. And that's the only time you'll ever hear me say that Toronto is awesome, okay? <laughs> it's a nice city. Nice city. The weather's nicer, that's for sure. See you guys tomorrow. Gotta catch up on a lot of videos and stuff. Lots of work to do now to catch up. Do you hear the way she's purring like that? Do you hear that? That means she missed me. Gotta unfold my mirrors because I don't have power mirrors. Not that fancy. I get on a plane every now and then, but I'm not automatic folding mirrors fancy. I'm just fly every now and then fancy, you know? Go to Toronto every now and then fancy. Hello, old friend. You missed me. I knew it. I knew it.